This project looking at exclusion netting for spotted wing drosophila and blueberries started in 2014 when I got a grant from the Northeast Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program Farmer Grant Program and I got some money from um, a, a line item that the New York State Berry Growers Association has gotten from the New York State Legislature because of spotted wing drosophila issues in New York State. So the first year I put netting up over my blueberries with a system that I just kind of dreamed up using standard greenhouse components of purlins, greenhouse connectors, and standard greenhouse hoops. And we had very promising results the first year. When I look back at it, they actually were very successful. I mean, in 2014, I actually had less than 1% infestation in the blueberry planting. In 2015, I improved how we did our connection in the blueberry plant or of the netting on the blueberry planting so that it's easier to um, connect the pieces and just using standard greenhouse components using wire lock channel and wiggle wire. And in 2015, we had even better results. We had about one third of 1% infestation over a six week harvest season. And then in 2016, I knew the system worked then, so I stopped comparing it to a pesticide-treated control because I know I don't need to do that anymore. The system works so well. And I covered more rows of blueberries, and I changed my attachment system at ground level. I actually widened my hoop, uh, my hoop distance a little bit, which I think can be widened some more. And much to my surprise, in 2016, I had absolutely 0% infestation over an eight-week harvest season in our blueberry planting. One of the keys to this is I use a double door entry system, a vestibule system basically. And while I made it just for pickers to be able to go in and out, something could be constructed for pretty much anything. But I do think that double door system is really one of the keys. You don't want to make it easy for the spotted wing to get into the planting. So we've spent a fair amount of care figuring out how to refine the fastening system. So now we use wiggle wire on all our connections, um, the double door system, and making the double door system something that your, your employees are willing to use and make it easy for them. So we actually have a zippered doorway that our employees go in and out and the system has been working great. Um, I think there's all sorts of permutations that people can come up with for a support system. I used what I already had in place because it's what I had been using for bird netting before, but there's, the sky's really the limit for coming up with uh, support systems that are gonna work for whatever type of system is best for the individual grower.